Yo, what up YouTube? It's Rain the Mask. Yeah, you guessed it. So back. Um, so if you saw the other review, um, or not the review, I did an unboxing, and the unboxing basically said that you guys wanted to see. Ta -da 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 -da! Anyway, let's get into this quickly. So what this is is the Jordan um, Air Jordan. 7 retro now it's in that 23rd anniversary box so that's the box that's got the gold um um the gold fonts with the gold jump man on the box now these originally let's see if i get this right i think they were 1993 no that's a lie they were 1992 so originally they came out in 1992 and what what happened was um uh, the, I'm trying to remember this now. So there was, a, I think it was a TV commercial, which with Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny. Hence why these are termed the hairs. H A R E. Now I'm not sure that a hair is the same as a bunny. I think they're different. But anyway, so there was an advert which came out with them two in. I can't remember the advert. I'm not sure if they were playing basketball or what. Um. And that was 1992. And then obviously that was to kind of link in with the whole thing of the film Space Jam. So everyone knows about Space Jam and, and, and what that was all about. Michael Jordan playing basketball against aliens. Yaddy, 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 ada. But anyway, this trainer, it's changed for me. Um, obviously they've kept to the, the exact same silhouette. They've kept to some of the, some of the materials. But my, my gripe is the toe box was a different look at that that is poor isn't it if you look at that glue stain that is a mad glue stain because the train is white you can't really see it but anyway the toe box was more of a a new buck so kind of like the um feel i don't think it was as dense as the fear falls but it was just a lot more denser than what i'm seeing here so obviously this part here where my thumb is is a new buck and then this the white parts on the trainer are a leather um, and it's a lightly tumbled lever. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up. You can probably just see. It probably looks like creases, but it's a tumbled lever. Yeah? Um, and then that kind of filters around the whole um, trainer. Yep. Yeah. Then you've got that 23 triangle at the back. I know that actually stands for something, and, and I can't remember. I remember I remember doing the research on it when I got my um, Bordeaux, but I for the life of me, can't remember now, so sorry. Um then obviously you can just see, if I flick it round, the tongue. The thing about, I like about the sevens is the detailing of the, the tongue. Um, apparently they're all supposed to be different. or not, so, uh, No, so, that's a lie. Somebody said to me that they're all supposed to be different. But I think it's just the cut of the material lines up different, if that makes sense. Um, then you've got your laces. So these, I haven't even tried these on yet. Um, so I haven't even unlaced them or whatever it may be. Um, inside, I, I guess if I took this out, you can just see it says Nike Air, which is normally, which is a bit different because normally it's just got the Jumpman logo in there, um, which is a nice, a nice touch, actually a Nike Air Jordan. Um, the price point on these were 100 and... 140 I think they're 140 but if you've been paying attention to my videos you will know that there's a video saying postcodes can get these down to 109 for you um all in all it's, it's a nice clean summer trainer and I think I've said that a few times so I've probably got a few summer trainers that I'm dealing with at the moment um if you look at the sole again I think the soles are wassy wassy um, on the Bordeaux, it just stands out and pops even more. But um, I just love the, um, the. It just reminds me of something that will come out on a um, on a Black History Month um, um, trainer. But anyway, um, you've got that kind of nylon. Sorry, I'm just pointing to here. So this part here is like a nylon material, which is on the tongue and goes right the way up. Then you've got the sock liner. So kind of similar to the the Harachi. Um, air trainer and probably just a normal Harachi trainer where you've got the sock line which your foot actually sits into um, uh, and then the trainer it houses it now my, my my thing would be is with a sock liner do you go half a size up 
or do you stay true to size? That's entirely up to you. And I know it's difficult, but you're gonna have to, if you haven't got these already, well, you can't get them no more. But if you have, if you've got a pair, well, let me know. What did you do? Did you go half a size up, or did you, um, or did you do something different? Um, again, a cool trainer was overhyped. They sold out instantly. Then Nike did a restock on their UK restock day, um, and then they came back out. Um, boy. Not much more to say about them. If you got them, holler at me. If you don't like sevens, boy, sorry. If you do like sevens, boom, skeng. Resell value. Quite an interesting thing. I still think you can get these for retail or just a bit over retail. So maybe about 150, maybe 155, 160. It depends. But the game's changing. It is changing a lot. Um, and I say the game, I mean, as in buying and selling trainers. It's changing a lot. But anyway, rain the mask. With the hair Jordans, yeah, you can see the Jordan on the tongue. Ear Jordan, ear Jordan. Signing O U T 